This skating costume is from 1880s, 1890s, and she is one of three skaters that are going to be out skating for holiday nights. The original is out of brown velvet, and the fabric that we chose is a burgundy colored cotton velveteen. I'm gonna lay this over and trace through the design of the motifs that go on here. We're calling them little sleds because that's what they look like. So I'll know when we do a fitting if they're lining up well or if they need to be adjusted to her size and her proportion. Acid dyes work by using soda ash or a dye activator to awaken the fabrics and combine with the pigments of the dye. So you don't need any heat to activate these dyes. They are activated simply by a chemical reaction. This little mark is where the original ended. Now I um, take it back down. Mm -hmm. I think I like the longer better. So what I'll do is then add another, probably what, two inches so that that's the hem and that flip off and this is the finished part. Yeah. Salt acts as an activator for the dyes. I don't want it to be too knotted because I want to ensure that the color is evenly spread through the fabric. I am making a template for the trim that's going to go on the outfit. This is similar fabric to what we're going to be using. I'm going to walk it around here because this curve is very small. Okay. Soda ash, or its chemical name, sodium carbonate, is a very caustic material. You do not want to breathe it in. Once the soda ash is in, that's when the time limit really starts. It can last two to five hours, but after that, the dye is completely exhausted and you can't keep it. The original was all sewn down by hand. So we want to replicate that. I am doing a running stitch. I think I'm gonna like this one. Add this back in. start stirring it for five minutes continuously and after that you start once every five minutes for another 30 minutes to an hour depending on how dark you want it. I think that is exactly the color I'm going for. So I'm going to fold this in half so I get two identical pieces at one time and I'm going to take a piece of chalk and just run it along the edge. I'm using a rotary cutter. With a sharp blade, you don't have to put too much pressure. 